everyone in today's session we are going to discuss about this best first search method so best first search method is a type of informed search what is informed search we have a additional heuristic value attached with each and every node what is heuristic function a heuristic function is something like that is the gap between the present node and the goal state okay so this is going to have an additional information regarding like which path to choose to reach the solution faster to reach the goal state faster okay so each node is attached with a value and this value has a information stating that like how far or how near we are reaching to a solution and um, in the given tree uh, it is a search method right what you are going to search for we are going to start from the initial state and we search for a solution and or you can call it as from the initial state we are going to find a path to the goal state so we should know what is your initial state and what is the goal state so what is initial state always root node will be the initial state only one initial state is allowed so here you have only one initial state as a okay and you can have multiple goal state uh, usually we use this double circle representation to represent a goal state right so what happened here in this example there is no double circle for all the nodes right any of the node we don't have any node with the double circle so it means that there is no goal state now there is one more identification that says that it is a goal state see check the heuristic function when a node has a heuristic function of 0 it means that it is going to be the goal to state see uh, a heuristic function is something that is going to say that how near you are reaching to a solution right when the heuristic function is zero it means that we are already in the solution right there is no gap between this goal state and all right so we are going to take that as a constraint and when the goal state is not mentioned here please make sure that a node with a heuristic value of value as zero will be taken as the goal state so you have two goal state i and j here and how you are going to proceed with the searching algorithm so this will have a open list okay this best first search consists of a open list and that is implemented using a priority queue data structure and you have one more closed list closed list consists of all the nodes that are visited okay so what is the meaning of visiting a node when you want to visit a node find all the children of that node and add it into the open list okay so open list will consist of all those children that are known and closed list consists of all those nodes that are actually visited or explored we call it as exploration or visiting i'll uh, give you with an example so that you will understand it better so let us start the process uh, when you start this root node will be added into the open list so this open list consists of a priority queue right so what is the priority function you are going to use here it is the heuristic value of each and every node okay so it consists of two component one is the node along with the priority function priority function is your heuristic value and similarly closed list is a visit list and that consists of node along with the parental node of it got it so we'll start the process here so a node along with the heuristic function is added when you start the process only this initial state is known to us initial state is nothing but the root node okay so the process goes like this each time we take a node in the open list with the minimum priority and we are going to add it into the closed list or the visit list we are going to find all the children attached with that of this node and add it into the open list okay and we are going to repeat this process until the goal state is visited the goal state should be added here okay till then the process will be repeated now we'll start the process here first uh, only root node will be there only initial state is known to us we are going to visit this initial state when you are visiting initial state what does that mean find the children of your root node okay a has two children b and c you are going to add this b and c in the priority queue along with the priority value of 4 and 3 okay now the next step is you are going to choose the node with the minimum priority in the open list so open list consists of two nodes b and c and out of it the node with the minimum priority is 3 so you have to choose this node this node should be chosen and we have to visit it while adding it into the visit list add it along with the parental node so the parental node for c is a okay 
so now when you visit see what is the meaning of visiting we have to find the children of c and add it into the open list along with the priority function okay so you have to repeat all this process until the goal state any one goal state is added into the visit list got it now what happened here so one step is done next step is again to repeat the same process we need to choose one node from the priority queue or the open list and uh, with the minimum priority and here look see already a and c is already taken b and g alone is there but for both b and g it has the same priority so what you have to do when you have a same priority follow the queue structure so how does the queue works it is first come first serve basis okay so the node that is inserted initially will be taken when a node with the same priority need to be chosen try to choose the one that is added first okay follow queue data structure now b will be chosen add along with its parental node okay now explore b when you are going to visit b what you have to do find all the children of b add it into the open list so the child of b consists of d e and f add it along with the priority 2 4 and 2 okay now what happened here uh, we have explored b we found all the children of b add it into the priority queue so this step is done and we have to repeat the same process now in the priority queue find a node with the minimum priority there are two nodes with the same priority minimum priority that is two is the minimum priority and you have d and f with the minimum priority so what you have to do you have to repeat the same process follow the queue data structure d is the one that is added first so you are going to explore d what is the child what is the parental node for d it is b so this will be visited and when you are visiting d you have to find the child node of d uh, d does it have child node it is the leaf node okay so you have to take the next node for exploration and in the queue data structure we have g e and f with the priority of 4 4 and 2 and node with the minimum priority is f so we have to choose f add it to the visit list along with the parental node parental node is b and explore f find all the child node of f f consists of h and i h and i with the priority of 3 and 2 oh sorry 3 and 0 got it so now we have explored f now we have to find the next node to exploration process so we have g e h and i i alone is left in this priority queue and the node with the minimum priority is i okay so choose i the i uh, the priority of the heuristic function of i is 0 so you have to choose i and uh, the parental node for i is f and since i is the goal state you are going to stop the process okay so this is how a best first search algorithm works okay so we have a heuristic function and heuristic function is nothing but it is an extra information or it is a gap between the present state to that of your goal state okay and the node with zero priority will be taken as the goal state and you have the root node as the initial state we have a open list implemented using a priority queue we have a closed list that consists of all the nodes that are visited okay so now uh, each time what we have to do we take a node with the minimum priority add it to the visit list find all the children of that node add it to the open queue and you are going to repeat this process until the goal state is visited got it now the goal state is visited what is next you have to find the path in which you have reached your goal state okay so there should be a path from the initial state to some of the problem has a uh, needs path as a solution okay when it needs path as a solution you should have a straight away path from this initial state to that of the goal state got it so now when you want to find the path i is the node goal node that we have reached here and the parent of i is f okay so from f you are able to reach i and for f the parental node is b so from b we are able to reach f and the parental node for b is a so a is the initial state and i is the goal state 
So this is the path that we take to reach from this initial state to goal state. If the problem that is given to you is to find a path, okay, find a sequence of step in which we are going to start this process and reach the goal state, then you have to complete it with this process. Got it? So this is the type of informed search method. The reason why we call it as informed search method is we have a heuristic function for each and every node. So additional information is available with us to say that if you take this path, you're going to reach the solution faster. Got it? Uh, so in the next video, I'll just uh, give an another example, a real time example of eight puzzle problem. I'll show you how to implement a best for search in that example. Okay. Thank you.